Okay, so today we're gonna be making a gun shoot lasers using Final Cut Pro and a gun, nothing else. So this is what it should look like when you're done. Yeah, pretty cool. So let's get started. I'm gonna open up a new project here, and the first thing I'm gonna do is get my clip of a gun. Now this is a Nerf Stampede. Uh, you can use another gun, you can make your own gun, doesn't really matter, but you just need a gun because you're going to be shooting lasers out of it. And I'm going to speed this up four times. I'll tell you why later, but just speed it up. It'll be easier to work with. And you can see that it shakes over here. That's important. That's kind of the recoil effect. You know, when the laser comes out, it pushes the gun back. So make sure you do that. I basically put this gun on a thermocall stand. And then I started recording and then went over to the side and hit the gun at the back so that it shakes. So once you have that imported, just go into your generators tab and search for an effect called Nova. Now you must be wondering, how are we going to make this into a laser beam? Well, I will show you. So drag this onto your timeline and then shorten it. It needs to be very short. Okay. Not 10 seconds long, maybe one second or less than that. And you want this to, to appear when the gun starts to shake. So mine is positioned perfectly. So if we play this now, yeah, looks pretty good. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so how do we make this look good? So we're gonna go over, select the Nova first, and then go over to this number two and uh, set the uh, life to 90 so we get a nice circle and you can choose whatever color you want I'm gonna make mine a little blue purplish kind of color uh, and the number for that is 205 so you, if you want this color just hit just put in 205 alright so the next thing you want to do is go over to your uh, transform section you really want to flatten out this image so just do this and this, and this is what I mean by flat. <laughs> you kind of ruin the Nova from a circle into this, into this. I don't even know what this is, <laughs> but you need to do this. All right, so the next thing you want to do is go to your video effects, all, make sure you're in all, and search for streaks. And just drag that onto your Nova. And once that's on, you want to go to your color, and depending on your background, if you have a very bright background, then make sure this color is bright. But I have a very dark background, so I'm going to make mine dark. Okay, and that's all we need to do in streaks. Uh, come back down to transform. We're going to have to make this. So this is what I like to call the bulge. This is the original Nova picture. The rest of it is just streaks. So we want to make this bulging part of it very small, just a bit. Okay, because this bulging part is what's going to be the start of the laser beam. So we want that to be as small as possible. So this would do for me. Uh, I'll flatten up a bit more. All right, and take down the x-axis a bit more. Just do it until you get something you like. I think this is perfect. Now the problem we have is that the laser beam is supposed to be coming out on one side. It's, in my case, it's going to be going to the left, but we still have more on the right. So how do we get rid of this? So there's an effect called Draw Mask. You've probably heard of it if you've used Final Cut Pro for a while. Just drag that onto your Nova, and it's going to ask you to click to add a control point. And we just want to get rid of this whole half. Make sure it's a straight line. You want that line to be as straight as possible. Uh, that, that went wrong. Okay, let me get back to that. But make sure this is straight. And make it a nice square. Okay, so there's a problem here. We have it on the right side, but we need it on the left. So just hit invert mask, and that should fix it. Okay, so now click somewhere else. Just click on the word transform, and it looks pretty ugly. So we're going to push up the feather to 100 so that it's a bit more smooth. All right, that looks better. 
and we're going to go to the blur effects. Uh, make sure there's nothing in your search tab and drag prism on to your Nova and that gives it those two extra colors. Don't mess with the angle or the amount. Just leave it as is. It looks pretty cool. So we're done with the laser beam. All we need to do now is position it because if you don't, yeah, that's what it looks like. Pretty bad. So we're going to go over to the first frame over here and we're going to go to the transform section and keyframe, that's this little diamond over here if you didn't know, just keyframe the rotation and the position. And then make sure you're on the first frame, position it. And there's a problem here, we have this extra bit of Nova that we don't want. So go over to your draw mask effect, yeah and that should get back this box and just cover the entire thing. Okay, so that there's nothing there. We just want this bit. So you can go back to the transform section now and position it. All right, so we got that. That's positioned perfectly. So if we play it now, no, it still doesn't work. And that's why I said keyframe. And this is where the speed comes into picture because when you're working with keyframes, it's always, it's always a nightmare. So you want as little frames as possible. That's why I said speed it up so that you have less frames to work with and you can get over with this thing quickly. So this next bit is a frame by frame process. So on the first frame, we have the position over here. You wanna hit the right arrow key to move forward one frame. There's no, posi there's no change in position for the gun. So we're gonna go to the next frame and there, that's a drastic, huge jump. So we want to change the position in the transform section. Don't worry, it's keyframed. Uh, yeah, and just change this position. I'm gonna turn up my brightness here so I can actually see what's going on. Uh, that's, that's good, that's good. We're gonna go a bit more to the right. There, and now the rotation, I'm gonna put this uh, to negative 18 so that it kind of matches the angle the gun is at. All right, so there's a problem over here. Uh, I forgot to keyframe the second frame. That's not right. So we go back to the second frame and as you can see, that's, that's up there and the gun's still down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. There we go. So yeah, uh, now what you have to do is basically repeat this task for every single frame. Okay, keyframe here for every single frame until you're done with the whole Nova thing. So I'm gonna speed this part of the video up because it's pretty long. It's a pretty long process. All right, now I'm done with that hard bit. So this is what it should look like now. So I didn't put too much time into it, so it isn't perfect. I mean, there are a couple of frames there where it's kind of off. But if you put some time into it, you can actually make it look believable. And that's basically all. If you want to change the color of your gun, just go over to this triangle here and uh, select color curves because that's probably the easiest one to work with. All I did was turn down the red and the green, something like that. Uh, I don't exactly remember what I did, but I messed with this until I got the color I liked. So that's basically all I have for you today. I hope you learned something, enjoyed. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.